We all take from our parents a set of expectations about what it is we're supposed to do. By having a diverse set of activities that you're involved in as a parent, you're opening up the possibilities for your children. What daughters of working moms see is that it's okay to go to work. It's completely normal. That's something that women do. And it's okay not to spend all your time cleaning the house because my mom didn't do it, why would I do it? Sons see something really different, and that is everybody has to pitch in here. There's no good way to maintain a management of a life outside of the home and a life at home unless everybody at home is working together. So the role modeling effect is very different on sons than it is on daughters, and ways that are so promising for women who have this guilt about going to work. This suggests that you're really doing your kids a favor. The definition of working mom used in this work is whether your mom ever worked outside the home for pay before you were 14 years old. This isn't about mothers somehow taking over all of the um, wage earning responsibilities in the household. It's not about fathers um, taking over childcare. What it's about is modeling alternatives for your children, letting them see that there are multiple roles that women can play and multiple roles that men can play in their lives at work and their lives at home. We find that being raised by a working mom leads to much more egalitarian gender attitudes for adults. So one of the remarkable effects is how consistent this is across countries. The important piece here is that you're offering a set of alternatives around what's appropriate behavior for boys and for girls, not that women should necessarily work outside the home.